Hi there! For this video, we'll be solving another problem that involves algebra. So we are given evaluate the product of quantity 1 minus 1 over 2 squared times quantity 1 minus 1 over 3 squared up until quantity 1 minus 1 over 2014 squared. So these, this problem is quite tricky, but there are several steps that we can do to get the answer for this one. Well, the first thing that we can do is to convert this whole into a single fraction. So we do that by converting every ones out here into the corresponding denominator out here. So this would become 2 squared over 2 squared so that this whole will combine into um, 2 squared minus 1 over 2 squared. So that's what we will do. So we can write this product as 2 squared minus 1 over 2 squared times 3 squared minus 1 over 3 squared 4 squared minus 1 over 4 squared up until 1 oops this should be 2014 squared minus 1 over 2014 squared so again what we did here is just we simply convert them into a singular fraction. Now from here, observe that for all of this in the numerator, we can actually apply the idea on this one. a squared minus b squared can be written as a minus b times a plus b. And we can do that here since we know that we can actually represent all ones out here as one square. And so we can write the numerator as out here. We can write this one as 2 minus 1 times 2 plus 1 all over 2 squared times 3 minus 1 times 3 plus 1 all over 3 squared times 4 minus 1 times 4 plus 1 all over 4 squared up until mm, 2014 minus 1 times 2014 plus 1 all over 2014 squared. So simplifying the numerator in these would give us 2 minus 1 is simply 1 times uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 all over 2 squared times 3 minus 1 is 2 times 4 all over 3 squared times 3 times 5 all over 4 squared up until 2013 times 2015 all over 2014 squared. Now, the first thing that we can observe is that we can actually see that this one out here is 1, 2, 3, up until 2013. So multiplying all of that would actually give us with, let's write it out here, 1 times 2 times 3 up until 2013 is simply equal to 2013 factorial. How about this one? Observe that 3, 4, 5 until 2015. So this one, we have 3 times 4 times 5 and until up until 2015. This one can actually be written as 2015 factorial. 
but this is not yet complete since for it to be 2015 factorial there must be a 2 also out here so that should be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 but since 2 is not present we can simply divide 2 out here so that whole green one the green part that we circled is actually 2015 factorial all over 2 now lastly note that we can write the denominator out here we can split the squares so that we will have 2 times 2 3 times 3 4 times 4 and 2014 times 2014 now observe that we have here 2 3 4 up to 2014 so that will be 2 times 3 times 4 up until 2014 or simply 2014 factorial and the same goes for this one out here it's also 2 times 3 times 4 up until 2014 which would give us 2014 factorial so we will use this factorials out here to rewrite the product in this problem so let's clear some space first. So this one is actually just equal to 2013 factorial times 2015 factorial all over 2 all over 2014 factorial times 2014 factorial now the first thing to note is that we can actually move the denominator here in this in the bottom in the lowest denominator of the fraction so that's just basic concept of fractions so let's write that one out so the two would go out here now applying the concept on factorials we have we can write uh, this one as 2013 factorial times 2015 times 2014 factorial all over 2 times 2014 times 2013 factorial times 2014 factorial and from here we can already cancel out some like uh, constants or like numbers here so we can cancel out the 2013 out here and the 2014 out here so we're only left with 2015 all over 2 times 2014 or that one is simply 2015 all over 4028 and that is the answer for this problem so that is how we solve this one we simply applied some algebraic concepts as well as observing that we can write this product out here we can write it in terms of factorials through observing that the products in the numerator and the denominator each forms some sort of factorial in a way and so hope you learned a lot in this video and you i hope you enjoyed it feel free to comment down below if you have any questions or any solutions of your own to this problem so we can share our solutions to this one and so thanks again and that is all for this video